was essentially looking at a way to think about a relationship to tradition and to ethics uh, in light of our own location in this contemporary period and the challenges that we're facing. Uh, particularly my interests are reading through a lens of gender and gender justice. Uh, and so my paper was essentially thinking and grappling with how it is that we locate ourselves in this contemporary period um, as Muslims and as people committed to the tradition uh, while simultaneously being able to engage that tradition fully and completely uh, in light of the, the challenges in a variety of ways of gender injustice. Um, and so what I actually have done in the paper was to theorize uh, the concept of what a radical critical fidelity, that's what I call it, it's a theorization, of uh, how to think about Islamic feminism through a lens of a friendship with tradition is how I've expressed it. The notion of friendship is a, is a very strong kind, has a strong currency in Islamic mysticism and philosophy. Uh, and so I frame this relationship of Islamic feminists to tradition as a relationship of friendship within tradition. And I use this notion of within to both locate Islamic feminists at people who see themselves as very committed and very part of, very much a part of the Islamic tradition, uh, to kind of center the notion of human beings as being agents, full agents where, and sites of the unfolding of tradition, uh, and the making of tradition, and the co-constitution of tradition, and the stance that I articulate in relationship to this friendship within tradition is one that thinks about a relationship of what I said earlier I call a radical critical fidelity. And what I mean by that kind of loaded term uh, is simply that one is both, uh, it, it's more a way to define a stance that one has. And a radical critical fidelity is radical forms of love and friendship, which are both radical in terms of being deeply committed, but radical in terms of being extremely discerning and extremely, um, sharp around and against injustice. Uh, and, and a critical relationship with tradition means that we can both look at tradition uh, in all of its facets and to be able to see things that are part of tradition. Uh, to, firstly, to understand tradition as a range and a spectrum and this uh, you know, a spectrum of positions that when we're looking particularly through the lenses of gender, uh, that we find all kinds of gender narratives in our history. Uh, and so we don't romanticize Sufism, we don't romanticize the tradition, but we simultaneously look at the value of the ways in which uh, certain parts of tradition provide for us uh, deep resources. My own work previously has been on Ibn Arabi, who's been a 13th century Sufi, uh, and a Muslim thinker really more than just a Sufi, uh, who in my own view provides contemporary Muslims with an incredibly productive and fertile space to be thinking about what it means to be a human being, to being insan, uh, and simultaneously what it means to think about justice as the embodiment of a certain type of relationship to God and to one another. And so it grounds justice in an ontology or, or in a map of being or in a way of understanding one's foundational aspects of existence and justice as being a way to balance uh, particular kinds of social relationships because it's in it's about a right relationship to God. It's about the right kind of stance and relationship to God, to tradition and to others. Oh, I would love you to cover something on gender ethics and Islam, you know, to be quite focused in terms of thinking about a multiplicity of, of approaches to be thinking about contemporary Muslim gender ethics and thinking about that through, you know, this particular seminar was kind of drawing quite strongly on the mystic mystical and, and to some extent the philosophical tradition, uh, but to think about how we could bring together in terms of gender ethics uh, you know, conversations broader than that. So that would be my interest. And it's been a wonderful space, alhamdulillah. It's been a, a wonderfully intense set of conversations with people that are deeply knowledgeable. And so I think the small format of bringing ki people that are working in a fairly, I suppose, a niche area to have conversations has been very rich and very productive. And I've learned a lot, a huge amount from, from the other speakers. So alhamdulillah, that's been quite a, a gift to me as well. So thank you.